Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, somebody. I greet you in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ, wherever you are watching from. I am Stephen Adeyemi. And I am inviting you for us to share the word of God and pray together on a program called The Moments of Grace with myself on Tobago Inspirational Network 137 every Saturday at 6 a.m. And I pray the Lord himself will give you moments of grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of our God. Praise the name of our God. Let praises rise today. Let praises rise to the name of our God. Let praises rise to the name of our Father. Let us send out praise. Let us send out praises, honor and majesty to our heavenly Father to our King, to our Lord, to our Savior, to our Father, to our Lover, to the one and only, the only and the living God, the only faithful God. Let's send out praise. Let's send out praise. Let praises rise from the inside of us, from, from our inner parts. Let praises rise from the depth of our heart. Right now, let praises rise unto our God. Let's give God praise. Let's give God praise. Let us give God thanks. I don't know how much persons are online there with me. Let us start to give God praise. Let us start to give God praise. Let's start to give God all the honor that is due unto his name. Let us start to give God all the praises that is due unto him. Is the everlasting father. Is the I am that I am. Is the only and the living God. Is the most powerful. Is the most rich, rich God. Is the most excellent God. Is the richest God, is the greatest God, is the oldest God, is the only God. There is none like him and there can be none that can be compared unto him. Let's give God praise. Let's give him praise. Let's give him praise. Let's just tell him thank you. Just let, tell him thank you. Just say, God, I praise you. Just say, God, I praise you for who you are. For who you are. Just for who you are. Lord, I give you praise. Say, for who you are, Lord, I give you praise. Say, Lord, for who you are, I give you praise. If you can just say it and say, just keep saying that. Say, Lord, for who you are, I give you praise. If time permits us on this program, if all we do today is just to send praise unto our God, our God deserves that and more. Can you just keep saying, Lord, I thank you, I praise you for who you are. If you can say it, if you can type it as well, call somebody to join on this program for us to praise God together before anything today. Just say, Lord, I give you praise for who you are. Say, Lord, I give you praise for who you are. Lord, I give you praise for who you are. I give you praise, O oh God, for who you are. Lord, I give you praise. Lord, I give you praise for who you are. Glory, honor, majesty, power be unto your name. Be exalted, Lord be magnified lord thank you lord lord we give you praise all of us online and those that will watch later and those that will join us later we bring our voices together we bring our minds and hearts together and we say we bring a sacrifice of praise unto your name oh god just for who you are just because you are god we exalt you we praise you we exalt your majesty because all things come from you and unto you goes all things. Hmm. Thank you, Lord. 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 Be with us on this program today and let your glory be seen. Lay your hand of favor upon each and everyone that will watch this program. 
in the name of Jesus. Glory be unto your name. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Somebody shout amen with me. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to our God. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Even good night. From wherever you're watching from and whichever time of the day it is at the time zone of the part of the world that you are watching from i pray that the lord will visit you with his favor in the name of jesus amen amen i welcome brothers sisters aunties uncles friends grandpas grandmoms i welcome everybody to today's program and I say that the blessing that the Lord has prepared for you will not elude you in the name of Jesus. And as this year is wrapping up, your life will not wrap up. Somebody didn't hear that. As this year is closing up, your life will not close up in the name of Jesus. Your life will not wrap up in the name of Jesus. The Lord has granted you long life, prosperity, sound health, riches, and you will enjoy them all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So, as I'm welcoming us, I want us to go straight into the program today. We have plenty prayer points. Ah! Tell somebody, type in somebody, say, we have plenty prayer points today. Yes, yes, we have plenty prayer points. Somebody type it. Say, we have plenty prayer points today. Yes, we have plenty. We want to pray. I want us to pray plenty today. So, I will just read two Bible verses for us, and we'll go straight into our prayer points. Amen, somebody? Hallelujah. I title today's message as rain. Yes, rain. Rain, I say it again, rain. Somebody might say, but what is rain? How, how does that concern us? We, we have water in our house. What, what do we need rain for? <laughs> and how does rain come into prayer? Let me tell you, child of God. Rain doesn't literally mean just the rain. Amen? The word of God said, the Lord rained sulfur and acid upon the enemy of Israelites. So, rain is not just water. The Lord sent down rain of manna for the Israelites. You forget that in the Bible? Yes, I'm reminding you. So, rain can be in any form. We are requesting from God today abundance of rain. Yes, the rain I want in my life might not be the rain you want in, in your life. So, each and every one of us, we are putting our request unto God today for an abundance of his reign and because he is the creator of heaven and earth because is the one that has the source of that rain every rain that every one of us might need my want, is the source of all all the rain so we want to ask him for abundance of rain, rain of goodness, rain of children, rain of sound health, rain, rain of plenty money. Yes, we want to ask God because He is able, abundantly able, and more than able to provide for our needs. So we want to ask Him for an abundance of rain, the rain of what you want in your life, the rain of, of what I want in my life. And I know for sure, believe with me, that he will answer us. And he has answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm sure you have your Bible with you. Quickly, please open with me into the book of Deuteronomy. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 11. Deuteronomy, chapter 11, verse number 14. Is somebody there? Let's read Deuteronomy 11, verse number 14. The Bible says that I will give you the rain of your land in its due season. <laughs> somebody, I say to you, it is your season. I say it into your life. It is your due season in the name of Jesus. The first rain and the latter rain. You hear what the Bible says? The first rain 
and the latter rain. What does that mean? The rain that will fall at its season, at its due season, and the rain that will fall even after the season, even after rainy season, what you are supposed to have at the age of 20s, in your 30s, in your 40s, but now you are in your 60s and you think it is gone. <laughs> and you think you can't have it again. The Lord says it will give you rain in the first season and the later season. Amen, somebody? Uh -huh. So, that thou may gather in thy corn and thy wine and thine oil. It means when the rain falls, it will not only satisfy you for that season, it will not just be only enough for the month that you get that rain. The rain you are about to ask God for today will not only sustain you for today, will not only sustain you for this month, will not only sustain you for this year, but the Bible says that you can gather in thy corn, gather in thy wine, and gather in thy oil. It means you will have abundance even to store. Somebody did not say amen. I say you will have abundance even to store in the name of Jesus. Amen. So this is a promise of God and that is what we want to hold on to today. I want to pray with. Amen. Let's check one more Bible verse before we quickly go into our prayers. Turn your Bible with me please into the book of Zechariah. Zechariah chapter number 10. The book of prophet or prophet Zechariah chapter number 10 verse number 1 Zechariah 10 verse 1 it's it read us ask ye of the Lord rain <laughs> somebody say rain somebody can you type it just just type rain type rain somebody say it say it yourself say rain amen ask ye of the Lord rain in the time of the latter rain ah let's pause a little bit here please when the bible says you should ask of the lord rain when it says in the time of the latter rain it means the season is over mm. it means rainy season is over already it is dryness. It is drought. It is the season where everything, everywhere is dry. Rainy season is over. But Zechariah chapter 10 verse number 1 says, Ask ye of the Lord, rain, and the time of latter rain. <laughs> God is a God of all seasons. He is the one that creates all seasons. But no season is able to stop him from performing whatever he wants to perform. God is able and abundantly able any, to do anything and everything outside and inside of season. Mm, somebody didn't clap for God here. Somebody didn't clap for God here. God is a God that created all season, but no season is able to stop him from doing whatever he decides to do, either in the season or outside the season. Somebody give God a round of applause. He is a great God. We serve a great God. We serve a great God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead. It said, the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to everyone grass in the field. Every grass in the field. It means you are the only person on this program praying, asking God for rain now. But when it starts to rain, your sister will benefit from it. It will extend to your brother. It will extend to your cousin. It will reach your uncle. Your auntie will enjoy it. Every grass in the field, everybody named with you, everybody that is part of your life, they will be blessed because you ask for the rain. 
And when it starts to rain, the rain will not just come over your own roof. It will spread all around. Somebody give God praise. 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 Hallelujah. 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 In the name of Jesus. <laughs> so, we want to ask God for rain today. I don't know what is it that you want to attach this prayer to in your life. I don't know. I know the rain I want in my life. You know the kind of rain you want in your life. And as I have explained before, rain didn't, doesn't just mean water falling from heaven. God can send you anything from heaven. We, we have seen examples where God sent sulfur. God sent fire. God sent dove. It rained manas, manna from heaven. So rain could be anything. We know rain to be drop of water, yes. But when we are asking God, the language we are using, God understand our language. So we are not just asking for rain so that we, we can stay indoor and sleep. No. We are not just asking for the kind of rain to just wet our plants. No, we are not just asking for rain that water may fall and we can have good harvest of our, of our farm product. Not just that. Yes, we need that. Yes, we want that. Yes, that is happening scientifically and in, in, in the design of God. That is happening. But this is a personal rain that we want to ask God for in our individual lives. So, people of God, are you ready to pray today. Somebody say, I am ready. Somebody say, I am ready. We want to ask God for rain. Somebody say, I am ready. <laughs> Somebody say, I am ready to pray in the name of Jesus. Can you begin to thank God? Just begin to thank him. Say, God, I thank you for your power. Say, God, I thank you for who you are. Say, God, I thank you for your faithfulness. Say, God, I thank you for your glory. Say, God, I thank you for who you are. Say, God, I thank you for your name. Yes. Say, God, I thank you for your word. Hmm. Begin to thank God. Just thank God in your own way. Just thank God. Just thank God in your own way. Father, I thank you for who you are. I bless you, O God. I bless your name. I exalt you. Father, I give you praise. Everlasting Father, I give you glory. I honor you. I thank you, O Lord. I bring praises. I bring honor in the name of Jesus. Be exalted, Lord. Accept our thanks and praise. Accept our thanks and praises, O God. For in Jesus' name we have worshipped. Amen. For in Jesus' name we have worshipped. Amen. Is somebody praying with me already? Don't just wait for the time of requests. When we are thanking God like this, it is a serious prayer point as well. So if you didn't join us for that first phase, I am giving you the opportunity to, to thank God again. Please join me and start to thank God again. We can't do it too much. We cannot overdo it. We cannot do it in excess. Can you begin to thank God again? Just thank God. Remember the things he has blessed you with. Remember the people he has blessed you with. Just thank him for people around you. Thank him for your pastor. Thank him for your friend. Thank you for your neighbor. Thank God for your teachers. Thank God for, 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 for people that are around you. Thank God for your cousin. Thank God for your grandfather. Thank God for your grandmother. Just thank God for, even for your pets that you have in your house. Thank God for it. Thank God for the tree around your house. Thank God for the birds in the, in the, in, in the bush, the bird in the sky. Thank God for the animals in the bush. Thank God. Thank God. Just thank him. Just thank him. Just thank him. Everlasting Father, we thank you. We are not ungrateful children, so we bring praises, we bring thanks. We are not just after what we will receive from you, but we are your faithful children that are after your glory on earth. So we bring praises. We did not let our supplications over, 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 override your praise in our mouth. So we all gather our voices today and we give you thanks and we give you praises. We say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. Glory be unto your name. For in Jesus' name, we have given thanks. 
Amen. For in Jesus' name we have given thanks. Amen. Remember Psalm number 67, verse number 5 that says, Let the people praise thee, O God. Let people praise thee, and then the land shall yield our increase. And don't forget, we're asking for rain. So we thanking God already, we start to ask for increase. Somebody praise God there. Somebody give God praise there in the name of Jesus. This is the first prayer point. I want you to pray very well, people of God. I want you to open your mouth and pray. Don't just say it. Don't just murmur it. I want you to pray it fervently. Wherever you are, if you are not disturbing somebody next to you, please open your mouth wide and pray. Here is the first prayer point. The first prayer point says, Oh Lord, put an end to every drought of good things in my life. <laughs> Somebody pray that prayer with me. Say, Oh Lord, put an end to every drought of good things in my life. You realize that everything is dry. If they ask somebody, say, how are things going? Say, it's just dry. No, 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 that should not be your response because you are a child of God. Begin to pray now. Say, oh Lord, put an end to every drought of good things in my life. Can you begin to pray? Can you begin to pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you today, oh God. Every good things in my life that are dried, every drought of good things in my life, I command and I, I, I decree an end to them today. In the name of Jesus, by your power, oh God, put an end to every drought of good things in my life. Put an end to every drought of good things in my life. Father, put an end to every drought of good things in my life. Oh Lord, put an end. Put an end to the to drought of good things in my life. In the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. The second prayer point says, Lord, I ask for your rain to fall in abundance over my life. Hey, somebody don't miss this prayer. Say, Lord, I ask for your rain to fall in abundance over my life. Can you begin to pray? Can you begin to pray? In the name of Jesus, I ask for your rain, O God, to fall in abundance over my life. Your rain, O God, let your rain fall over my life in abundance. Every area of my life, I need your rain, O God. Let it rain in abundance over my life, over my ministry, over my family, over my career. Let your rain fall in abundance in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. I'm not sure if I'm giving us enough time to pray those prayer points. If not, you can write down those prayer points and pray them over and send them to somebody. Bless somebody with this prayer point. The third prayer point says, Lord, let your rain rejuvenate and revive every dried up goodness and greatness in my life. Hmm. 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 Thank you, Lord. Let's pray, people. The prayer point says, Let your rain, O God, rejuvenate and revive every dried up goodness and greatness in my life. Do you understand that prayer point? That every greatness and goodness that are dried up in your life, you are praying to God now that He should let His rain revive and rejuvenate them. Can you begin to pray? Can you begin to pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, every good things that are dried up in my life, I pray that your rain revive and rejuvenate them now. In the name of Jesus, everything, every good things that are dried up, every good things that are folded up, every good things that are forgotten, 
every good things that 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 are rotten in my life let your reign of abundance revive and rejuvenate them now in the name of jesus let your abundance of rain revive and rejuvenate every rotten every dried every forgotten good things in my life now in the name of jesus for in jesus name we are prayed amen i pray for you somebody all those rotten good things in your life all those dried up good things in your life all those forgotten good things in your life all those uncompleted good things in your life all those mash up good things in your life i revive them now with the reign of god i rejuvenate them now with the reign of god in the name of jesus for in jesus name we are prayed amen the next prayer point says oh lord my father let my life be blessed so much that others around me get blessed through me are you happy to pray that prayer your blessing will not just be meant for you alone but others around you they will benefit from the goodness of god they will benefit from the blessing of god over your life can you begin to pray can you begin to pray in the name of jesus oh lord let your blessing be in abundance in my life that it will affect those around me that people around me will be blessed through the blessings that you must have endowed my life with in the name of Jesus let your blessing be in abundance over my life oh God that others will get blessed through me in the name of Jesus let your blessings be abundance in my life oh God let your blessings be in abundance over my life that others get blessed through me in the name of jesus for in jesus name we are prayed amen this is the last prayer point the last prayer point people of god please listen carefully (laughs) the prayer point is long but i want you to catch it it says good things that people science age or environmental factor have stated as over or not possible for my life <laughs> ah the doctor might might have told you that you cannot get some things again the doctor may have declared to you that you cannot get over a sickness or disease again or you can't have children or have this or have that again <laughs> it means they think it is over they are telling you that the season for you to get that good thing is over but they are not god they are not god the prayer point says every good things that either people or science or age or environmental factor or government factor have stated as over or not possible for my life Oh Lord, just as the roots of a cut down tree get revived at the smell of water, let them spring forth for my life. When they cut down a tree, but when the stream of water come in contact with that tree, it revives, it rejuvenates, it grows back, it blooms. That is how your life will bloom before this, before the end of this year in the name of Jesus. Because the rain of abundance is falling over your life. Can you begin to pray now? Say, oh God, every good thing that people, science, age, governmental factor, environmental factor have stated as over or not possible for my life. Lord, let your rain revive and rejuvenate them and let them spring forth now. Begin to pray, begin to pray in the name of Jesus. All the good things that people, age, science, environmental factor, government factor have stated as over or not possible for my life. Begin to revive and rejuvenate them now and let them spring forth for my life in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed amen i pray for you people of god just as you as you've said these prayers today the lord will manifest himself in your life and all our prayers shall be answered in jesus mighty name amen people of god tune in again next week by god's grace invite somebody let us pray together this same station 
Tobago Inspirational Network, Channel 137, at 6 a.m. every Saturday. I remain Stephen Adeyemi. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, somebody. I greet you in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ, wherever you are watching from. I am Stephen Adeyemi. And I am inviting you for us to share the word of God and pray together on a program called The Moments of Grace with myself on Tobago Inspirational Network 137 every Saturday at 6 a.m. And I pray the Lord himself will give you moments of grace in Jesus' name. Amen.